And at one point, when you were trying to break it into the movies, become a big Hollywood star, you actually took lessons, like elocution lessons, to try to get rid of your accent, your iconic accent. Um, do, do you think it, it, it worked at any point? <laughs> I say delicately. That is such a mean question. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that it didn't work. <laughs> Did you get your money back? <laughs> I know, you're absolutely correct. Um, no, so, um, so what happened was when I stopped with bodybuilding competition and I wanted to get into movies and be a leading man, I said to myself, I have to do the same thing as I did with bodybuilding. I have to go and work five hours a day at this, mm -hmm. and I have to take acting lessons, I have to take English lessons and voice lessons, stunt lessons, and also accent removal lessons, because there was this guy, Robert Easton, that was the expert in making you kind of get rid of an accent. Mm. And um, so we worked on all of those kind of things, and then I realized, well, wait a minute, I don't think I ever get rid of my accent. I think it will always great. be there. And then it became kind of like a tradition. Then they came, they came up with Hans and Franz and Saturday Night Live. Yes. Right? And they, you know, we're yeah. here to pump you up, okay? And look at you with your girly men love handles. <laughs> I'm gonna flip you through the air with my little finger and you land in your own little baby poop. <laughs> you know, so this was their dialogue, yeah. imitating my accent and really exaggerating it and all this stuff. And even though the people today, uh, when they exaggerate my accent, because when I say it's not a tumor, you know, to the kids uh, in, in kindergarten cup, then the people run around and they, they exaggerate, say, it's not a tumor, it's not a tumor at all. You know, so they go overboard with this stuff. Well, I'm so glad you kept it.